Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Under Construction. This is the town of Olive as we know it, as we don't know it, actually. So, I started off with the camera facing the wrong way, because of a little goof when I tried to record a second ago, but we have made some significant progress since you guys were last here, and uh, I'm going to have to go over everything, not that there's too, too much, but there was a bit of terrain work done, and of course the entire industrial district here was sort of wrapped up. Now, this is the yard that we started working on. We have the two tracks and the four tracks. Uh, these two tracks run over here, out this way, over this way, out this way, and then we're going to have to put another little yard over here with a track that wraps around the back side of town to there. But before we do that, we actually have to start designing what the uh, districts and stuff in town are going to look like. Now, I can go over everything here. This is um, this is a Ben Dorsey model right here that I like very much. It's the North Walpole Roundhouse. The doors actually do open and shut automatically. Uh, this is... Yeah, we put this bridge here last time. I got this little, like, toll booth gate entry thing. It's a little out of era, but I think it's all right. And then this comes around here, up the hill, over to here. This guy just ran a red light. These guys are worse drivers than the ones in Train Fever. Okay. And there's this connection here. Now, this is nothing really to... Nothing really amazing to look at, but that's what it is. And so, I'm thinking we're going to be building some residential over here. Maybe low-density residential. But there's also got to be some industrial stuff here, so I'm not sure about that. There's going to be commercial that's either over here or towards the back end of town, and then residential that's all around here, that's right. This area should be all residential. So, I'm going to have to start getting some roads over there. And now, this is this is the kind of era where it doesn't matter so much. I'm going to have to learn how to ATLS, that's right. Uh, where it doesn't matter so much about railroad crossings and what have you, so I'm going to... I'm going to not be too, too picky about getting everything great separated. And, let's see, so... The other thing I learned, and I talked I talked about this to, uh, to my friends in the group a little bit, is if you look at the way that the railroads are set up a lot of the time, it's, oh, can we stick an industry here? Yes. And then there'll be an industry there. You know, alongside the track, they'll, they'll, they'll never miss the opportunity to put an industry somewhere. That out. Okay, so we've got this road here. This is going to be like Railroad Ave or something generic like that. Uh, we could probably have it cross here and then build out another road this way. You know what? I need. So we're using all yarn stuff because it's built in. Uh, I need yarn, like, oh, you know what, I need yarn intersections, not yarn, alright, what is this, that's cool, I should use that somewhere, I can use this somewhere, although that's the wrong kind of road, uh, yarn crossing, those are just one track, okay, uh, not these. This. The other one has traffic signals. Can we get traffic signals? Whatever, this seems like the right thing. Although it's got one dark edge. Ah, this is all light edges. Okay. So let's put this over here. Unless we want to bring it back from the railway a little bit. I was also sort of doing some detailing. I'll show you that in a second when I, when I wrap this up. So this is going to be a lot of not track, probably, this episode. Because there's more to be done than track in this town. I mean, having a having what amounts to a model railroad setup is nice. Where it's just, you know, uh, here's the railroad. It's nice, I guess. But it's not what I want right now. It's not what I want, period. What's my mantra that I've been saying a bajillion times? Yeah, realistic is possible. 
All right, so let's cross the tracks here. All right, I'm gonna need a non, where is it? There we go. This kind with no sidewalk. Cross, there we go. That looks about right. It actually looks pretty damn good. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna want like crossing boards or something though. You know what? I need to hop into the unhorseman route to find what I want. Uh, so, well, hold on. Let's let's go into here. Let's open the filter. I figured out where, where the pickles is, by the way. Uh, and then crossing. All right, crossing boards, crossing check rail. What is this? This is on the DLS. Okay, that's nice, but not what I want. JR Wood Grade for. Oh, okay. Ah, oh, there we go. That's pretty good. Can we have one that's a little bit darker? Yeah, there we go. Yes, perfect. And that is. That is on the DLS. I'm gonna use this over there in a second. Actually, no, the one over there is a, a built in crossing, so that's not an issue. I should actually draw these out a little bit so that they're in the right locations. I had some issues with the crossing board. You know what? You know what? Hold on. Can I do this? Let's see. I'm not sure how well this is going to work because I've, I have some crossings that are on. Oh, it works. It works better. It does work better. It looks better, too. Because, uh, here, this is what I'm talking about over here. But this is, like, not fancy enough to, to do that, you know? To be there, in the middle of the industrial district. Okay, so we've got this road that runs this way. We also need to connect the highway somewhere. I put the highway coming in over here, but I'm not sure if it should be over here. I mean, theoretically, it should, it should more or less run alongside the railroad tracks, or at the very least sort of run through here. Like a, a boulevard, maybe. I also need to put the eye portal somewhere, but that's a, that's a different problem. Now, I will keep in mind that this is the age of the 50s, and... Most of the stuff that we'll be seeing, clear this. Most of the stuff that we'll be seeing is probably not going to be these stamped out sort of wiggly subdivisions that you see today. So we're going to have more right angles, more you know sort of houses on corners and stuff like that. And additionally, we're going to have like yeah, let's. Listen, listen turn the roads, so we, we do have to go this way and then get over the tracks again. I'm going to actually deal with pulling the tracks out that far. But yeah, this might be low density to use the SimCity term. Or, you know, just the, the city builder term, I guess, because I, I honestly don't know what terms they use in Skylines, but that's sort of the go-to these days. I'm a uh, I'm too I'm too old for that. I don't uh, I've never played Skylines, but I have uh, I have watched somebody play Skylines. Like I watched I watched Zisto. He had a good let's play of that. I, I I thoroughly enjoyed it. You know what? This needs to slope down. We need to have some. This needs to be a little bit higher and it needs to slope down towards that. This is probably not going to be. This is going to be one of the main drags through town, I would guess. Well, not this. I don't know. Am I am I gonna have like? Well, you know what? If I'm gonna have a boulevard, it's gotta be over here by the by the beach, which means I've gotta get it over this. I've gotta get it over the Broadway, which means this is not the right place to do this. So I need some yarn stuff. Is this yarn? No, that's motorway one. Never mind. Get rid of that. Uh, go back to yarn. 
I think I put that there before I figured out that I wanted to do yarn. Okay, yarn crash barrier, that's not what I want. Yarn invisible row? No. Yarn lane four. With the thingy in the middle. That looks good. This reminds me of the Taconic State Parkway. Okay. I actually haven't gotten to talk about that, in, that yet on anything, including the Terminus, because last time, despite the fact that train news is slow, with the new way we set up stuff to receive news, uh, you can get piles of news pretty quickly. You know, we certainly do. Okay. Okay. I need to put this... Oh, that's kind of obnoxious. These need to be straight, too. So... Well, I mean, highways are not quite as rigidly, straightly built as railroad tracks, that's for sure. Cars can do turns a lot more easily. So, let's get this over that. Which means we're going to have to go sort of up. Well, a lot of up. So let's get it up here. Well, this, is, this seems kind of flat, I guess. Alright. So we're going to have to build this out a little bit so it doesn't look as weird, because that's sort of spiky edges. Where was that bridge I just found? Yarn bridge. Nope, not that. It's too small. Stop it. Yarnbridge L4. This is gonna... Oh, no, it is the right kind of pavement. Awesome. Oh, and it's got that, uh... That patented, like... Green. That's on all the highway bridges ever. Uh, I need this vertex height. 1708. And then put that like that. This is way too low. This is way too low for a railroad. Alright. What's our measuring stick for building railroad bridges? I'll tell you what it is. Hold on. Let me tell you what it is. I'm your ice cream man. Stop me when I'm passing by. Alright, let's strain this. There we go. Get that the right level. This is too low. Okay, we need the high cube. Okay, show me the train menu, please. It does this. I'm telling you, it does this. It's like, no, you want something? No. No, never mind. It, it, it. Ah, there we go. There we go. There it is. Hi. Cute. No. No, I don't have the baby Ruth car? There it is. Oh, it's, it's literally high, like H-I. Alright, so, needless to say, the bridge is a little low. Let's do this. Raise it. I can't raise it. Why you no raise? Twenty. Alright, and that gives us some clearance. Okay. Do we have clearance, Clarence? Roger, Roger. What's our vector, Victor? Back this into there a little bit. Just so that, you know, it's sort of not hovering. I'm going to get away with that being that span length, I guess. See, and I got this retaining wall that I like so very, very much. Uh, by the way, the Baby Ruth car better be on the DLS or something. Oh, it's built in. Okay, good. I was going to say, that, that thing is like a staple of trains at this point. It's been in so many different trains games. I remember having an 06, and I think it might be older than that. So, we're going to have a turn here, and we're going to bring it down to ground level here. Which seems to be about that height. What height is this? It's 15. Straighten this. Alright, that's 15, that's 20, so let's punch in like 7, whoops. 
No, I hit 17.5. No, let's do 18, because the other one was like uh, 0.9. I wish we could see the gradients of these things on. Oops, we're infringing a little bit. Alright. You know, what's kind of funny, and I, this might just be an artifact of well, I'm not really sure what it's an artifact of, but, oops, wrong thing. But MSTS had some of the same terrain glitches and bugs and pop-ins and stuff like that as this game and all the other trains. So, I don't know. It's, some things don't go away. Yeah, I wish... You know what? I should get some... I should get some Bendorsi road bridges. That's what I should do. Let's see. We need a we need a yarn intersection with the highway now, though. If there's more yarn stuff I don't have, I should go on the DLS and get it. Which is why I have the DLS open. I don't have the DLS open. Which is why I can open the DLS. Uh, manage content. Let's go and search up on the download station. Whoops. On the, on the download station. There. For yarn. Also, can we get a giant ball of yarn that I can put in the route somewhere? Because I think that'd be amazing. We already have giant push pins. Oh, don't let that figure itself out. Yeah, there we go. That looks that looks good. All right, this way. Yeah, that's flattened out now. There. All right, I should straighten this out. Oh wait, that was straightened out. Straighten that out. No, wrong button. Seems to get bumped over a little bit. As straight as possible. There. Oh, so we've gotten the road like down into the town area. Excellent. Have you figured out what we're looking for yet? Yarn. Bridge yarn three with yarnish two decking. No, I don't want yarnish. Yarn compatible. No, I don't want yarn ish. Although this is a lot of yarn ish stuff. Why why is it uh why do we have so much yarn ish stuff and not like yarn stuff? Maybe I should go yarn ish. What do you guys think is better? For the yarn road network. Well, why is uh oh, that? Yeah, why? Well, I, I started using yarnish, and then I decided to switch to yarn because I had something that yarnish didn't. But before I get too far into this, maybe I should just download all the yarnish stuff and go with that. Because if you don't, I mean, I have, I have yarnish, like I have plenty of yarnish stuff, but, I mean, the difference between the two is the fact that there's a, there's just a, like, subtle height difference. I mean, I can swap the stuff out, as that replacer, I'm pretty sure.
you know, maybe I will just set all this stuff to download. Maybe not right now, but having all the yarnish stuff and using that instead, it seems like there's an awful lot more yarnish stuff than yarn stuff. And I wonder why that is. Nope. Yarn T intersection. Yarn merge ramp. Yet another road network. That's what yarn stands for. See, can I have one with, uh... Okay, that's not what I want. Can I have one with, um... That's weird. Oh, wait, I get, I get these. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. That's actually really good. Huh. Okay. Compatible with yarn roads. Yarn compatible. I want just... Okay, can I get just straight yarn stuff, though? Because, yeah, there's, there's yarn stuff, and then there's yarnish stuff. And the, uh... Oh, that's cool. Reskin to yarnish. Maybe we should just get them both. Again, there was a... There was a subtle difference in height that I was dealing with, and it was mildly annoying. So... I just switch to all yarn stuff. But if I go with all the oops, I meant to hit shift, I hit enter. If I get all these things Treadway intersection. See what's treadway? I think I might be able to get away with just this stuff and not yarnage. Yarnish. Or just not other non yarnish stuff. Yeah, sure, whatever. Go. Go ahead. Only 200 assets remaining. Okay, so it's going to work on that while we do this. And uh, if I turn out to like the yarnish stuff better, then I will just replace the asset and switch to it. So, we're going to continue this road in this direction. The thing that I recalled I was looking for was an intersection between these guys and the other guys. So, let's get this. Oh wait, this is Yarnish. It's, ah, there it is. There it is. That's the issue. Not so subtle now that I notice it. Uh, but, yeah, that's, that's what the problem was. Well, I'll style this back so we can have, because we're coming off a sort of turn there, a dip. And then, actually, we can get rid of this. Straighten it. There we go. But the thing is, if we're getting into a residential sort of area, then we don't want that. We want it without the guardrail. So we're going to put that there to remind us. And then the other thing, if I want yarn, yarn adapter, and that'll switch from this to that. That sign is facing the wrong way. Well, it's not, but... We can make use of that, but not right now. Uh, what I do want, though, I want an intersection that'll go lane four. There we go. Let's 
the regular old yarn in this section, so that's just fine. And then let's switch to this. And connect. And so there we go. We have Yarnish Intersection. The issue is that these don't have any sidewalks. So oh wait, wait, wait. Nope, no, no. That's that's center intersection. Why is it showing me the birch trees? Yarn T intersection. No, it's still the wrong kind. I want... How do we get it to merge with these roads that I have over here? Oops. Give me this. Quick. This is like DL1 style. And this is, what, DL... Nope, that's also DL1. I don't know what the difference is. I mean, I can attach this to that. It looks kind of dumb, though. Do we have, like, a adapter or something? Then we have merge lanes and ramps and stuff. <clears throat> Probably won't be using those. No, I just want to build this. I just want to build this area. <clears throat> well, I saw an intersection a little bit ago. Why do you keep showing me this? I don't want this tree. Let's see. Yarnish intersection. No, not yarnish. Yarn intersection. Here. This. This is this is good. Because this combines the two types of roads. And so I can put this, like down here somewhere. And then run kind of roads over there. Oh wait, that's the wrong thing. Oh, I actually got it. Did I accidentally place a road over here? No. Okay, wait a minute. Yeah, I did. I did. Had a feeling. Okay, put that like that. And then... We're gonna have this road which sort of goes along the beach side here. So this looks kind of weird. We can put some beach there. Maybe we should put like a parking lot there as well. So then we need the other kind of road, which is not the DL1. Well, it is. It's this kind of deal one. No, that's a different shade as well. No, actually, it's not. It's got the it's got the blend there. Although we could make this a T intersection. We could make this a T intersection. And oops, no, this. Yes. You don't want people walking out towards the uh, thing, do you? Although we could put sidewalks along the sides of this road if we want. No. Oh, you know what? I realize why it's doing that. Because it's just resetting every time something gets added to the list. This is almost what we want. Nope, other way around. No. Damn it. I want this, but the other way around. See? Hi. 
right, let's just grab this road, build it up that way. This way. And then we'll have to put a dead end on it or something. There. So that's that. Flatten this out. And then we will be putting like houses along it, so we've got to actually flatten this out. And actually, I should have... Well, we can't put houses with driveways if there's sidewalks in the way. So we've got to be sort of careful with our sidewalks. Hold on. Go to this. Oh, we never did that. How about that? Okay, here we go. So I think we have our road hierarchy here. A little bit. Although this is a lot of room. So we could put some trees along here and then just have one set of houses. Let's see, let's think. Uh, well, if we had... Okay, so, so we had the road come up in parallel. We had the highway come up in parallel to this so we could get this road under it. This road should probably be the one that connects to this, which means it's going to be this type of road. So I'm going to have to swap this out. Goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. We made this nice little bridge here. Oh, you know what? That doesn't work. Even if I push it over to one side, it doesn't really work. I'm going to see how well cars fit or don't fit in this. Because that might do it, but that's a narrow sidewalk. Whoops, wrong, wrong control, wrong control. Alright, there. Okay, so we've got our narrow sidewalk under the bridge, downtown. Straighten this out, straighten that out, that and that. Put a thingy on this. Oh, that's kind of, oh, that shouldn't be that, but that shouldn't look like that, it's too bad. It's not a road that, though. It's sort of bank up there. So I said, what? I'm going to make this commercial. I guess she's just trying to be commercial. Oh, yeah. Let's straighten that out. Now we've got a, you know, a, a circular turn, I guess. Not a... We don't want spiral curves, we want circular curves. Which means it has the same sort of arc the whole way around. And so radius up, sensitivity up. Let's build this out here. I'm thinking, I was thinking we could sneak a like line back through here, but I have no idea how we'd get it over there. So. That's that's a different problem entirely. If I'm going to do something, I might put, like, you know, a fruit warehouse here, which makes sense. It makes a little bit of sense. And then have the secondary yard here, which will only be a couple of tracks, because it's just, like, goods the town needs. And stuff that's coming in for those industries that isn't related to wood, which isn't much. 
We're going to take care of the town mostly on this. This episode. So, this here. Raise this a little. No more rhyming. I need it. Anybody want to be that? Alright. We need another one. There's sections here. Ow. You guys hear that? I heard that. That hurt. No, 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 no. <laughs> well, how am I so bad with this today? You know what? I need to get good with the hotkeys so I can do it, you know, super efficiently. I need to be the best there ever was. Okay, that's, I think that's as straight as it's going to get. So let's connect... No. Let's connect... This. This. The thing I realize I have to do occasionally in order to make sure this thing stays multiplayer compatible is go through and just delete all of the delete all the uh, dependencies for this route that aren't compatible. And then from there, have it re-download them. And if they re-download from the DLS, then it's good, and if they don't, then it's not good. Yeah, see, I'm tempted to I'm tempted to run the boulevard over here, run it along this temporarily, so that we can get it over this. Because I don't want to have to interface that road with this road. Which is doable. So we've got some, like, beach houses probably along this road. But, let's, let's think. Think. Yeah, I have to not interface this road with that one at all. If there's a Yarnish version, then maybe I'll consider moving Yarnish for that alone. Because, frankly, there isn't too much different. And when I download all the Yarnish stuff, then I should have tons more Yarnish stuff. It's so annoying to me that the Yarn and Yarnish are almost compatible. I don't know why you'd have those two different systems. Maybe I'll have some stores and stuff along this road as well. Whoops, that's the wrong kind of road. Right, so we're going to take this and we're going to build it over this way. So this way, and then straighten it out so we can run it along here. So this is what the issue, this is what it's going to come down to. No, 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 no. This here. Right on there. It's gonna sort of be there. And then we're going to. We're gonna straighten that out. We're going to give it these vertex heights. Yeah? That's it? Oh, wait. What's this one? Oh, these are 1330 as well? That was 1330? I, I have trouble believing that. Okay. I guess we're going to have to do some more stuff manually. Where is the spline point? It's under there somewhere. Come on, where is it? Here. Okay. I'm trying to get the wiggle out of the road. Grab the point, will ya? Okay, this way. And move this this way.
Yeah, I guess that works. Got to fill in all this. What about this right here? Hold on, I'm filling that in manually because that's not. That doesn't look good. That doesn't look good at all. All right, so I want this height. Use this height. No, 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 no. I said I want this height right there. That one. There. All right, there. Okay. Trying to make these curves the same sort of length and radius, and it's not working out. So we've got this, and then we've got that, and this one just looks bad. There's something bad about this curve right here. Is that hovering? Good. It's not. Oh, we need another one of these bridges in a second. But this is gonna follow along here for a second, and then I'm gonna put the I'm gonna put the station actually right over here. So having this boulevard go by it, I'm not sure if that's the best thing. We need we need a station with how how's this coming? We got 61 out of 185. How's uh we need to find a station with just a pair of side platforms basically, or just a couple of single platforms that I can use. Okay. Oh, this is still 1330, huh? Okay. Boss. Really, boss? No, there is no effing way that's 1330. You're lying sons of guns. I want, I want the height of this. All right, screw it. Grabbing it with the rail tool. It grabbed it. It did grab it once, did it not? Fourteen ninety-three. Okay. Fourteen point nine three. There. Right there. The bridge is probably flat, so let's do the other side back. Although I didn't grab a uh, bridge for this. Okay, and the other thing. What is this, actually? 1381. Alright, I wonder why. 13.81. No. There. Right there. So it gets a little bit closer here. Not what I want. The more you ignore me, the closer I get. Okay, put this over here. What, what is this elevation right here? 1490, okay, so this is basically flat. It's basically flat. So let's take advantage of that and just use 1493 for the other one instead of having to type it again put it there cover from there there wonderful straighten this out and that's straightened as well so if we make a straight parallel then things look good Alright, so rid of that. Go get the bridge. Where's the bridge? We need that. No, down the way. Yarn bridge. Oh, it definitely it's definitely compatible, don't lie to me. 
It's definitely compatible. Okay, and then apply this, apply it over here as well. You applier, lo 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 lo. Okay. Is that parallel? It looks a little bit crooked. Like there. Plug that in. Plug this in. Now it looks stubby. Stubby bridge. I assume there's some sort of precedent for this. I just wish it didn't look so bad. Put a uh, low clearance sign on this bridge. Although it's it's high, it's decently high. I'll, I'll put like a parking lot over here for this. Maybe I should make a big flat area over here. Maybe I should add, you know, an exit ramp. Well, no, those are all yarnish, weren't they? Those are all yarnish. Well, we've got merge ramps and stuff. Go, go away. Uh, and then let's go to yarn again. Yarn. Yarn adaptable. It is an adaptable. Yarn, bridge support, yarn, exit. No, I, I need I need to just be on one side. I really do. Uh, we also need a six to four adapter then. Yarn. Wait, didn't we have one? No, this is a uh, lane four, lane two. We need a lane. Oh, and is there a yarnish one? Let's see. Boulevard overpass. No, that's not what I want. Yarnish. Intersection, sidewalk, radius, end? Oh, okay. And no curb. No. See, it'd be nice to put like an exit ramp here that connects it to that, but that I don't think it's going to happen. Maybe there'll be another intersection down there, but for now it'll just be this road through town. Like this is the main road. I'm not sure if this area has been really terrain though. I mean it has, obviously. But I don't think I've finished. So let's do that some more. Turn the radius up. Having the, having terrain, like, it's not the random terrain generator, that's for damn sure. But having terrain that I've sort of randomized is really nice, because it means that, it means that I get, like, stuff. Other stuff. It means that I get, it means that I get some variation that wouldn't be there otherwise. And that's a hill. I feel like this should be a little bit higher of an area in that case. Let's, uh, let's grab this, then. So use this. Use the height. So 
See, now we're just making it flat. It's not really what I want. I want something a little bit more varied than that. Plateau tool is better for this. But plateau tool means you have to drag the height from wherever you're using it, wherever you're getting it. So I did extend this more, because I figured we needed more room. And I feel like I should be putting up some retaining walls here instead of instead of actual terrain. I don't know. Uh, let me pull this this way a little bit, and I think it will look better. Yeah, because that's sort of coming together. The, the tracks next to it are not as parallel as they could be. Oh, these should all be... Whatchamahoosits. They should all have the guardrail, shouldn't they? Nah, I'll leave them as they are. Leave them right as they are. Okay. We have to swing this out a little bit more. The next town the way is the next town down the way is Bellington, which, honest to goodness, the highway might pass entirely. But this is like a Route 66 thing; it's, it'll go through everywhere. It winds from Chicago to LA. So you're gonna go this way. And how far apart should these roads be through this sort of suburbia that I'm about to build? I'm thinking maybe I'll even make this parallel for that sort of groovy symmetry, man. And then have a bunch of roads that do that. So, hold on. Let's get rid of this road that sort of nose dives into the ground, currently. Grab that, put this here, and then how far do we want it to be from the boulevard? So, about that far, probably, because that matches how far this is. And then this is going to loosely follow that. Let's just lay down the basics of where the spline points need to be, then we'll sort out how it looks. And that is not nearly far enough away, though. We need one of these. It's going to take me to... No, it didn't take me to birch trees again, which is nice. Oh, is this done? Nope, oh, still downloading. 66, 185. Alright. You know what would be nice? Oh, ruler. I definitely think they're here. They're in the game. There's something which you can use to measure. Alright, so this is good. What the hell is that noise? Okay. Oh, it's somebody mowing the grass. This needs to go here. This is. Oh, it's a little crooked, that's why. But uh, can I? Oh, nope, 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 nope. Can I adjust this from here? Yeah, I can. Straighten that out. No. Okay. Straighten that out. See, I'm so good at this game. No, I was holding shift, you bastard. Oh no, I was holding enter. I'm. Never mind. There. 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 All right. So let's straighten this out, so it's right with that, put it over here, realize that we actually did it quite well, I was going to say realize that it's still crooked, it's not still crooked, put this there, put this there, straighten this because it needs to be straightened. Figure out where the spline point is. Right there. Uh, 
I want to be able to have more intersections in this, though, so we need to have more straight areas than curved areas. Doing what I just did definitely is not helping. So that's better. See, now it more or less follows that. Alright, so that goes there. goes here. And now everything's flattened. Yes? No? Good. What's going on with this? This is kind of weirdness. Oh, it's just a, it's just a dip. Dip, 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 dip. Right, so we're going to run this to the ocean side. And the thing with this town is they've got sweet beaches and like a protected shoreline, but their water is not deep enough for a port or boats or anything like that. It's, it's pretty shallow. It's going to be spread out here. Yeah, how many roads are we going to want? Let's see. I don't know. I don't know. How, where, how, many, how many intersections can we shove in this small area? And I feel like this is a... This curve is screwed up. And those, those people just crash into one another. And I have not laid a single stretch of track this entire episode so far. So... Yeah, we should, if we put, like, a fruit grower's warehouse or something here. Oh, you know what? This is good. They drive more towards the center of the road, so maybe I could even get away with, uh, more sidewalk. But, the thing I need now is good houses. And, like, you know, the ability to actually make them look good. Because that second part is really my problem. So you know, the detailing and everything like that. I've never been good at it. Never been that good at it. You ran a red light. You know, having the stoplights is nice. Just as a little sort of... Look, we have stoplights. You know, as a little detail. It would be much nicer if they actually did anything. So right now they don't. So this is all going to be residential then. Hmm. What was the other? What was the? What was the thing that we had where we could change the intersections? So we have that. Oh, it's not that useful. With this. With this. Oh wait. Inter T intersections. We have that, which is not useful. We have this, which is not useful to me right now. We have this, which is sort of what I was thinking of. So, if we brought this down... And then ran it, like, right along the coast, which would be nice, I guess. I'm not sure where the coast is going to go, though. Also, we're going to need more tiles over here. Oh, I didn't add... I settled on using these guys, these Milwaukee stands, but if I recall correctly, I was I was downloading different ones for use with this. This is not the straight, is it? No, it is, it is. It's just, it just looks a little weird. Hey, this isn't right either. Uh, 
I don't know. Roads, man. Roads. I need to be doing roads. I'm distracted with switch dance. Hold on. Switch. Damn. No, no, no. Sometimes it's just one word. Switch. Switch lever. Switch machine. Switch stand low. Diverge. That's right. I was going to use these. Couldn't find the other ones. That's right. Not that one. Low switch stand left and right. High switch stand. Oh, okay. Here's here's what they are. I was gonna use these guys. The Milwaukee ones are nice, but I only have the one kind that actually has you know, anything of value. These don't have a lever, though. That one does. A move. I mean, that one moves. Just the low one's lever move. Yeah, it does. Okay, I guess that's not terrible. Maybe I can get, maybe I can use these. What is this? That looks kind of odd. I don't know. I'll, I'll still stick a Milwaukee one here for now. My, my only issue with them is they're the only ones that have, uh... These are the only Milwaukee ones that have the lights. And if they're on the wrong side, because there's only one kind of these, if they're on the wrong side, then I just don't get the light doing what I need it to do. And it looks dumb. So those other ones still might be good. If we, if we come to need them. Anyways... And I, I want to do some of the scenery as well. Like, this whole area needs to be scenic now. Because this is... This area is as done as it's going to get. Uh, there's going to be no industry or anything over here. This is just going to be woods. So, I might as well start texturing this and laying down trees. Giving us a nice thick forest full of speed trees. Which, you know, before anybody goes, Oh, no, use splines. And speed trees run better at this point. It's... It's weird, but it's completely true. I could be in an area with a bajillion speed trees, and they're more optimized. Like, Tane hates splines. That's that's just what it boils down to. It's not even that the, the trees got that much better. It's the splines got that much worse. You know, they just... And they don't look as good. You know, it's nice to have all the speed trees. Okay. I'm going to fill in all this area, really. Okay. Let's see, are there any tiles I can get rid of? Nope. Nope, not the slightest. Okay. But, oh, that's right, I can't build up to the edge of that one. Because I'm going to be adding something there. Can't build up to, let's see, where can I build up to? Okay, next to it. Oh, let me work, come on. Work for me. Work with me. And my arrow keys double. So it's supposed to be, you know, flat, but not really flat. And I'm going to be adding some sparse random hills here and there out here. So that you just have a little bit of terrain variation, but nothing, nothing to really write home about. Just something that looks like, you know, something that looks like it belongs. The other thing I was thinking about is town elevation and stuff like that. You know, I don't have a plan. This is the first map that maybe I've ever made. Uh, well, actually, no. Geiger Mountains, I don't think I have that. But this is this may be the first map that I ever made that I haven't plotted out town elevations beforehand, which is something I almost always do. I almost always go through and I say, okay, this one's going to be at 100, this one's going to be at 200, this one's going to be 300. Now, I noticed that led me into a trap on a lot of my other routes, especially... Whoops, 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 sensitivity needs to be down. A lot of my other routes, especially where I ended up with uh, towns that were too close together and had too much of a height difference. So, it... it I, I just gotta say, I can't... I don't want to discourage people from doing that, because it's not a bad idea. 
but just get a feel for how long it takes to get up, you know, 100 meters or something like that. So, the thing I was thinking about was, okay, what's going to be the max height for a town on, on this map here, on the Tolbrand Peninsula? And I was trying to think about it using the best unit of measurement that I could come up with, also my favorite unit of measurement, which is the state of Rhode Island. And so, as a historical tidbit, the highest station in the state of Rhode Island was called Wallam Lake, and it was at a whopping, like, 520 feet above sea level, maybe 540. And this station was the highest point on what was called the, Doug the Douglas Extension, and it was at the very border of Rhode Island, Massachusetts. I visited the location of, of Wallam Lake. Wallam Lake, of course, is still there. It's a lake. Uh, it doesn't go anywhere. Usually, they, usually those don't move, but in a in a non-geological time scale. But Wallam Lake Station, of course, is long gone. But if I think about how big the state of Rhode Island is, and I don't really know how small it is, but at the same time, it's it's a it's a project to think about building something of, of that scale. And so, if we think about the size of the state of Rhode Island, and the fact that from the coast to the inland, which, and it wasn't exactly a mountain, you know, it certainly wasn't mountainous railroaded to get there, but, you know, the lowest point in the state on land, of course, is sea level, and the highest point in the state for a railroad station was 520 feet up, which in this game translates to about, what, 200, 250? Well, let's see. No, uh, Divided by three, so 500 divided by three comes out to like 1.6, or you know, 160, right? Yeah. So be 160 up. If I was going to take the leisurely path, I don't really want to take the leisurely path with the two railroads that I have that are uh, going to be doing that. So I think it's going to be higher than that, maybe even significantly, but probably no higher than a thousand. Uh, actually, I think a thousand is up there, like, no higher than a thousand feet, so that would mean about 300. And that, I don't feel, is too outlandish, but it's just something that I've got to, uh, I've got to keep an eye on, but really it's more of a we'll get there when we get there sort of issue. Not that, not that the issue is going to wait until we come around to it. But when I start building up into the mountains, I'm going to build until I say, okay, this is far enough. And that will be that. Oh, whoops, I'm just saying this instead of plateau. Then I will stick the town there. I don't have a scale on the map, I don't have anything like that, so it's going to be completely... It's going to be completely... eyeballed, basically. And these have these sort of wiggles in them, whatever. That doesn't really matter. I used to be, I used to go all out with, oh, the track should do this and then this and then this. But there's no real sense in that. There's, there's not, you don't really get anything out of that. And when you try to follow it, it'll often lead you into trouble because you just weren't prepared. You know, either you didn't have your scale right or what have you. It's, it makes things difficult, or it can at least, if you do not prepare profusely and do, you know, actual measurements and calculations and, you know, okay, so this track is going to be this long, which means it'll have a gradient of this, uh, which means I can get to X height. Yeah, no, it's, that, that is too much for me. I could do it, you know, I could. It, it's not beyond my capabilities by any stretch of the imagination. However, I don't really think I want to feel like it would be far too much work. So, for, you know, the first time ever, or at the very least the first time in a very long time, I only made the map. And I think that's going to be beneficial. I think that's going to be quite good. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to make a little road that parallels the tracks once more. Again, if I put the station here,
Yeah. Let me think. I'm trying to think about how I wanted to do the roads. I still haven't touched this now. I've, I've built this. I haven't put my intersection, so let's do that. Let's do that while I think about the other thing. Not that, uh, not that anything's going to... Oh, right. Not that anything's going to jump out at me. So we want one there. We want one here. We want one here. We want one here. If I can fit more in later, I'll do it. But for now, I'll just do these. So we've got those in place. Defense menu is here. It's here. No, it's a little bit off, huh? Maybe if I move it this way. There, that's better. I don't know if this road really leads out to this point here. So now we've got to match the angle. And the advantage of doing this is I can sort of push it up against here. And then when we disconnect the road, then I can just couple the turned road to this instead of having more segments. I'm sure that's not a revelation to me. But if it is, you should use that. You should do that. Alright. Let's put this here. Is that the right angle? Yeah, it's the right angle. Alright. Back to this tab. We keep having to switch back and forth, and I'm not used to doing it. The detail, it hurts. Okay, at least it should probably be stop sign intersections. They're probably gonna grow, uh, probably gonna sprout, you know, stoplights sooner or later, because the other ones didn't have them and then they did. until I logged out and back into the map and then we got him. Actually this one this one appeared with it. So I don't know. I don't know what goes on sometimes. It doesn't matter too much to me because the stoplights don't actually do anything. They do look very good. Don't make me use the R word again. But they look very good. And wait, why is tree birch in the splines list? Okay. Use much. Okay. Let's straighten this out and we'll carry on. Flatten it with the ground. Push this right up on top of that spline point. And then we will add another one. Get rid of stuff and do the thing that we do. Ba do ba do 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 ba do ba do. Alright. So put this here. Okay, now we have our intersections. And the thing is, these two are going to get farther apart. No, it doesn't matter. Oops. Yes, I can. I absolutely can do that. Oh, what the hell? Okay, I'm dumb. Sorry. wasn't paying attention to what I was putting down. So that's that way. This can come out this way. To the seaside. Or to the sea. Up there. And then maybe we'll just sort of kink this one. and then ignore it. The Minecraft server there is curious to been renaming all the roads. I think it's nice. All the roads in town. Okay, so this go whoops. This goes here.
Wait, why is this so high? Oh, 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 oh. It just happens to be, like, a magnet there. You know what? Let me flatten this then a little bit. Just so it's easier to put houses on in the future. I'll have to pay attention to that when I go through it again, but... Oops. One tap. Okay. Now we have some roads. Okay, they're not as close together as they could be. So I might add more later. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like a lot of the stuff in this town is going to be fairly new. But we'll see. I wish I had uh, like cul-de-sacs I could put in roads. Although, again, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the the sort of swirly, yet still stamped out subdivisions that cul-de-sacs tend to come with. So, let's build this in this direction, straight along that grid line there. Oh yeah, the other thing that I that I got a, a freaking ages ago, and then neglected to mention for the longest time. I was complaining about the blue grid, and then, by magic, the yellow grid came back. I don't know what I did, but it just happened. One day I came on and the yellow grid was back. So I am eternally grateful for the grid gods to, uh, you know, because they gave me my yellow grid back. All right, let's, uh, nope, wrong tab as always. Right there, right there, right there, right there, right there, right there. Flattening everything out. We're starting to get some actual streets going on here. I like it. Maybe we could put a park somewhere. Put a park over here. Mersbau Power. Mer yeah, Mersbau Park. Named because of the. Has anybody ever seen the thing with like the the Mersbau mouse or whatever? Not even entirely sure what it is. It's just sort of weirdness. It's like about like positive and negative reinforcements. It's, it's very odd. It's very very odd. It's a little. If you, you can look it up, you can actually look it up. If you'll find it, it's like a. It's an image. It's it's almost like a comic, but it's not a comic. I mean, it is, I guess, maybe by definition. It's a definition of a comic. It's a good question. Never thought about that. You know what's another great comic, though? Garfield without Garfield. That's it. That's it. It's not something I frequent, like, to check out, but I feel like... I feel like if I put it up in my bookmarks bar, I would stare at it for, like, ages and ages and ages, you know? I would just go seek it out. Alright. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Get rid of this. Alright. Now we've, we've more or less reached the level of this highway once again. We're going to have to have another road that crosses it here. Or something like that. What was... Again, what was that intersection that we had? That T intersection? I should have just... I should have thrown it down. Oh, we've got a six lane. Now. Well, we need an adapter from six to... We need an adapter. Hold on, are you done yet? Did you finish? No, you're at 140 whatever. Yarn. Take me to the yarn stuff. Yarn split. Okay, we can't see what that looks like yet. Let's see. We don't have another adapter yet. Yarn crossing. Now it's 45s. So we have exits like that. Exit like this. Oh, 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 oh. I see, I see. Said the blind man as he fell down the stairs. We're going to have to use that for some exit ramps.
And that means I should keep this up. Like, I don't think. Because now I want to make use of that. And I probably should have put the guardrail version all here. You know what I just need? You know, all I need is... I need a transition thing from yarn to yarnish. And I'm sure there's one. I'm sure there's one out there. And I need to find it. So, okay. Is this going to run through here and then under here? But where are we going to put the train station? Right here, maybe? Let's see, we need to find a thing with side platforms, so... We have overpass stuff, I know that much. But let me look up platform. Platform. VR platform... No, that's old. It's not bad, actually. Wow, it is old. Oh, it's got this, though. That's actually kind of cool. Maybe we should use that in the future. VR platform. No, you know what we need? Okay, no, no, no. Platform. Oh, platform trolley? That's not... That's not quite what I'm looking for. T-side platform freight. No. Ooh! You... Excuse me. I could use this, though. I've already built some stuff with platforms, by the way. I built this. It's still kind of bland, but it's better than better than nothing, that's for sure. Okay, so we're gonna put this here. How long is it? building a little bit. There. Alright, so that's going to be there now. Uh, Truro Platform 3 built now. No, no. Tickets Platform. Train Order Board on Platform. No. Station USA 1 Platform. Station Shelter 1. What the hell is this? No, because it has this. If it did not have this, I would be much more inclined to deal with it. Because this is actually quite nice, and I, I, I'm tempted to use it. So where could I use that? I Station shelter one platform. SR lamp platform. SR lamp platform. Shelter platform concrete. Oh, that's just a thingy. Platform stairs. Okay. These are all signs. Number. And danger sign. No, not quite what I want. I don't want these benches, or these people. New Haven. Hold on. Would be great. Oh, this is probably from, like, the station. Yeah. New Haven platform. Yeah. Okay, okay. MS... Oh, no, 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 no. LNAR Island platform. Building. Oof. Platform building. JR Oil Company. Okay, this is... I'll put that down to look at it, because it's really nice, but I cannot use it. So, all of these... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Local form. Station name board. Clark City Depot. If I can change... No. Test. Damn. Would be nice. I would do it. Local platform. Industrial tank on platform. This is something I could use. This is what on uh, this is some of the LS. How big is this? Bigger than what I want, but I should keep that in mind. Industrial platform. Icing platform. Oh. That looks useful. Not for here, though. Somewhere else.
Now, okay, how about station instead of platform? Station. Why VR versus station? Cute, but not what I want. White Pass and Yukon. No, not quite. Uh, White Pass and Yukon, Karkaros Station. I'm gonna put these down just to make sure, but they're they all look kind of gaudy. And. No. VR type D generic station. No, I think there's something a little bit more like awesoming. You know what? Let's see. Download station. Awesoming. No, okay, there's no. There's no. Uh, hold on. Side. There's nothing there. I. Uh, I'll wait until that loads in. We've got chairs, we've got Lilydale. What the hell is this? How about... no. Hillsville Station Building. No. It's nice. I'll give it that. It's nice. It's not really what I want for here, though. There's not enough room for that. That's the problem. I'd rather have, uh, okay, Station USA 1, no. I already, I already looked at that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Station Union. Okay. Uh, Station Small, Station Small Building. Oh, I do have to worry about the station for, well, let's see. Yeah, because there's nowhere to get from there to here. Gotta worry about the station for these guys as well. But... Hmm. Well, not like there are gonna be too many through trains, and I can just plunk the station somewhere over here. Be a nice small station. Station Master's House. Yeah. No, not what I want. Station CP Medium. That looks a little bit uh, small for a medium. There's clock. Here's buildings. Oh, let's see. Have we got... Oh, look. We've got some stuff. Backside clock. No. <laughs> not what I'm looking for. Black double side. Nope. Loading platforms. Okay, I can see that, but not what I want. Looking for these side platform track side, two track no. There's, there's no they're from they're made by Aaron and there's no thingy. Alright, T side platform you are. I may have to just build it, like you know, you know what, actually, no, you know what, that, uh, the thing we had earlier, I think I'm going to use it. So, platform, where's the one that looked nice? Yeah, there we go. I think I might actually use this. So, I can change the name on this, it looks nice, it's a good side platform, and all I have to do is add the walkover to the other side. So this is going to be state, uh, no, it's going to be, what's this town? Olive. I don't know, all we've got to do is fit this up here. A little farther down. Uh, what is this building? I don't remember putting this here. Okay. Now once we work this out a little bit more. Come on. Okay, look. 
okay, 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 okay. Sometimes it works wonderfully, and sometimes it just doesn't want to. It's, it's, it's so finicky. Okay. So, let's go back into here, back into here, back into here, and then smooth that. That looks a, that looks a lot better. And then we need to extend these guys out a little bit. And then we'll see. And and this means this means we can at least pretend to load passenger oh no 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 no, don't do that. This means we can at least pretend to load passengers onto the middle two tracks if the situation were to arise. So because I saw something similar when I was riding Metro North a couple weeks ago where they were doing track work on track 4 and which was one of the ones right up against the station and obviously trains cannot pull in on that platform so in order to get people heading in the right direction they had built these makeshift crossing boards to let people get to the next track over which I thought was I, I thought was pretty smart that's I think that's as good as it's going to get. It's not quite pointing in the right direction, but it's good. Maybe maybe it'll work itself out if I... Hold on. Maybe it'll work itself out if I punch us some new spline points here. Well, actually, it just needs to be here and here. And then... Here and here. Nope. Okay, move this platform. Move it. Oh, why is it going so slow? Okay. Yeah, I knew that would work. Okay. Okay, so this will be olive uh, northbound. So... And that means there'll be another station that's just olive. So, Olive and B. Or maybe we won't even put a walkover bridge. We'll just, we'll just have this connected like that. But where will I get something that looks like this? Hmm. Who made this? It's 50722. So ideally, there's something in that same series that will help me with what I'm trying to do. And let me get rid of this. It's a track. Also, what is this? This is not a railroad track, but apparently it's trying to be. I'm going to, my only assumption is that it's crazy old. Why does it move so slowly? Go. Go that way. And then attach this to here. And now we have our very first station on the entirety of the map. And these aren't lined up. Hold on. Let me just adjust this slightly. You know what, I'll just stick some of the crossing boards on there and call it a day, hold on. Let me grab crossing boards from right here. JR wood grade crossing. Hopefully it works. Better work. Right there, right there. Wait, what? Why did it give me that one? I don't want that one. I didn't click on that one. But I, I didn't use those over here. Wait, hold on. Oh, wait, I'm adding. Oh, crap. I just hit Control Z too many times now. Control Y, Control Y, Control Y, Control Y. Oh, and this one's now offset. Isn't it? 
that's a little shrink wad. Because this is crooked. I didn't notice that before. Oh, I'm trying to move it with something else. There we go. They're pretty much lined up now. So, let me grab this. Okay. Put it, put one here and one here. And now they can get safely from one side of the station to the other. Makes perfect sense. Now, can we have a walkover bridge? That's what I want. Uh, covered walkover. It looks kind of obnoxious. I'll be honest, it does not look great. Also, I have two of the same thing, apparently. Okay, sure, I'll just do that. I want to get rid of them. And I know that... So, I can... I'm going to pop this here. Just to keep an eye on it. And then I'm going to put walk over... Stairs. Oh, left. Oh, we have center left. Do we have right? Where's right? We don't have right, we have center and left. Let me find right. Do, 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 do. It should not be this difficult. Alright, walk over stairs left. So let's put these over here. Right there. And these. This is. There. It's a little bit too high. There. Perfect. It's still a little crooked. Right up against the edge. Will that be better? Okay, have you found it yet? There. Is this it? How about this? These are the same. Th oh, hold on. A2, blah, 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 blah. Download. Double ended stairs? What is this? Ow. Covered walkover support. You know what? I want this. Not sure if it's gonna work though. What is this support house? Okay. We should put this somewhere. We don't have like a governmental district planned, but maybe we need one. Alright, let's try to match this up with this while we're waiting for the other thing. Yeah, we definitely need to find... Okay, it's almost... Almost... It's almost the right height, and I assume it would be if we didn't adjust it. So let's get this down to the right height. No. That looks a little bit better, but it's still not quite there. 4.7... Now how about 14.5 even? How about 14.6, then? There. Oh, I think we just got something. There we go. You know what, that's fine. But us German Bridges can do that. Walk over stairs right. There we go. 
now we have the right side of the stairs. It's kind of awkward with two lefts. <laughs> One station asks the other station to dance and says no, and the other, the first one asks why, and he says, I can't, I have two left stairs. Makes sense to me, alright. Uh, point, no, 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 no. No, it needs to be point three five. And then it should line up. Almost, almost lines up. There. Excellent. Except this is too far over. It's a little bit lopsided. Hold on, let's move this. Right up to the edge. And then... And let's grab the spline point. Okay, the question that's in my mind right now is how big is the support? Because if it's a big... Oh my god. Yeah, that's what I thought. You yeah, see, I can't use this. Because it's too big. I'm guessing if I try to fit, like... Anything even remotely wide through here, it's just gonna smash the side. Hold on, let's get the fatty. Let's get Chris. Oh. Oh, tease it. Yeah, no, that's not good. Yeah, we just, we just took his head off. We took the engineer's head off. Sorry, Chris. Yeah, no, I can't do this. This is, uh... I wish I had something narrower. I wish I had something that was just one of these. But we have to leave it hovering, almost. Oh well. If that... Oh, no, 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 sorry. I was wondering why that wasn't working. That's what we've got. A walkover at one end. We're in an actual station building now. So, I think I should put that on this side. Oh, you know what? Let's uh, fix this. I feel like it should go on that other side there. Not on this side here. I mean, there's, there's flat ground over here that we made, but I'm not sure if it's worth it. I'm not sure if it's right to put it there. Hmm. Let's see, let's see. So, we've got nothing this way. We need the other station. It's got to be here. I think I'll put it on the other side of this. And maybe add another crossover up there or something. Uh, I was going to use searchlights for this. That's right, I need to be building the... Uh, I need to be building these signal bridges as well. I haven't been doing that. Let's see. Let's do that for this guy. Signal bridge. There should be... Oh, you know what? It's called... C... Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> that was easier to find than I expected. Although, you know what? I think we just are going to use the two-track... And then put a right side signal on here. So we need searchlight. And there are better searchlights, aren't there? We got all these. Oh, uh, these are all uh, these are all external. These are some of the ones that I was using in other stuff. Okay. So shiny rail junction. What? 
I, I don't think this works anymore. Okay, I have no idea what that is. Okay. Signal home 1970s gantry non electric non what? What is this? Let me see this. 1970s home gantry non electric. Oh, okay. Non electric? That's a lie. <laughs> okay, it's probably not electric then. It's probably not, uh, that's not what ELEC stands for. Anyways, back to uh, searchlights. Searchlight signal 04 gantry. Actually, we have crossovers coming up, so it should be searchlight signal 06. Left diverging gantry. These are all built in. Okay, and then we need a right diverging gantry. I'm not sure if these are going to work. We're going to have to go back through and check them. The problem is I've only downloaded some of the super signals. Like the fancy super signals. These guys. So, they may not all be what we're looking for. You know what? Uh, super signals. I'll download those as well. The rest of these. If there are a rest of these. Because right now, we only have like... Two. We have the one on the catenary, the one on the pole, and the dwarf. The dwarf, which doesn't appear to be working. The dwarf, which I'm pretty sure is dead. So, that's a problem. We need to get that to work. And then I need this. And then this is going to be right diverging, because, yeah. There, perfect. Ish. We don't really know if it's per No, no, no. Super... Oh, wait, 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 there it was! Vertical face... Okay, here we go, here we go. Look at all of these. Oh my god, look at them all, they're beautiful. They're beautiful. What is it? Why is it ATK? RS signal. Humid Kiara? Where's Kiara? Oh, here's the NW ones. With brackets. Oh. Here are all the PRR ones. One head manual block signal using a refresh rate interlock. Particularly use blah 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 blah. Oh my god, look at all of these. Oh, they're beautiful. Oh, what are these? R2. R2. Oh. Maybe we should use these for the other ones. Instead of the instead of the modern looking color lights. These guys instead. Approach or approach limited medium. Okay. Oh my god, there's so many of these though. Oh, we've got tri heads. All right, we're gonna use these. Try. Go three. This is a crappy picture, though. These are old pictures. Like, when were these assets made? Because they're they're calling themselves super signals. They don't look very super. Oh wow, that looks like oh NYCTA. Yes, that's exactly what it is. It doesn't look like it. It is it. Um, okay, so, oh, what is this? Switch indicator. Yellow for switch open. Yeah, we need the tries, and we need the PRR ones. What are these? Square ones. Okay. What is this? SL3. These are some other really nice uh, thingies. Virtually any possible signal indication. 
Well, there's a lot of stuff here. But I'll come back to that later. So we also need buffers on all these dead ends. Get a buried track here. That's kind of on purpose. Definitely not something I'm really avoiding. Now we have an interlocking leading into this. We will not have another interlocking until after we turn the corner. And so we have this connection here. You can get into this like main yard, which is what it's going to be, from any direction pretty much. And you can get out this way, it's going to meet with this. And maybe we'll have a Y. No, I don't know. That doesn't make sense. We've got to have some sort of, you know, almost bypass. Like, it's got to merge with this. And then we've got to have something that breaks off and meets with this way down the line. Because that will actually make sense. And then we'll have some massive distance between this and the next interlocking, really. The next one in that direction. I should really focus on this area right now. Like, what's in... What's in here? Before I can move on down the line too far. But I did want to build this whole area, and that means... That means actually getting a little bit farther with it. this. Which includes adding more tracks so that I can finish the roadways over here. And thinking a little bit harder about, okay, how are the roadways actually going to look? So, we've got this here, which you've got to turn that way or that way. That's, that's okay. And then I said I was gonna sort of I said I was gonna terminate this. And or actually no, I wanted to have some of the I wanted to have one of the like, you know, overpasses or whatever. Not overpass well yeah, overpasses and actual exits. But I also want to do this, so Presumably this was the first railroad through here, so let's let's think about Okay, what's the Canadian station? So let's do CNR. CNR Petersburg station. That's a little bit too small for what I want. How about CNR King station? That's even smaller. Go away. Your Burgessville station? Now, I want something with two tracks. It's in our flag station, that's not useful. It's in our freight sheds. I'll have to use those. Not here, though. It's in our new Hamburg station, now. Shakespeare? Ah, here we go. This is more like it. But this isn't the one I was thinking of. And in fact, in fact, it may even be a CPR station. So. C P R do that with one hand. Why am I doing that? Okay, I don't have any of the CPR stations. It was in the Toronto Rail Lands map. So Alright, let me let me start this downloading. How many super signals are there? Oh my god, I want them all. I want them all. Here are manual block doesn't signal to the ball. I wish we could see the descriptions of all of them, like, in-game, instead of having to poke through here to find them. Whatever, downloading all these. While it downloads those, I'm going to go look for CPR. Okay, uh, CPR station. Whoops, that's not what station. Station. Field station. No, 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 no. That's a, also the, was that Ben Dorsey? It looked like Ben Dorsey. I didn't, I didn't uh, read the title. Yep, Ben Dorsey. No, no, it's not this. Okay, CNR stations then. CNR station. No. 
Oh, that looks nice, though. I should use that. CN station. Okay, never mind. Maybe I will use this. No, don't put that over there. But I wanted something a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. So let's just punch in station. And then... So, Bender's station. With blackjack and hookers, I have no doubt. Station building, flat roof. Brick station, medium. I think I remember this station. No, I don't, actually. This is nice. This is wicked nice. I'm looking for something that you can get to the second track with, though. This is Buffalo. Buffalo Central Station. That's Kevon. Kevon made this. Uh, bus station. CNO Passenger Station, early style. Maybe I will use this in the future. CNO, or CNO, Faded Station, Flying Station, King Station, New Hamburg Station. What was the one where I was like, this, this could work? Shakespeare. I'll put that down. Stratford. Stratford. Wow, that's big. Gotta use that somewhere, that's awesome. Stratford Station, of course. The difference. I wasn't seeing the difference. Whatever. Thought it was going to be something that actually jumped out of me. Darlington Station. Oh, don't mind this sign. Denver Union Station. That's something I got elsewhere. Oh, Kevon made this, probably. Holy cow. Electrical substation. Dam substation. DS Shop Game Station. Gotta put that somewhere. Uh, substations, fire stations. Fire Station 1942. That's probably gonna be useful. I just scrolled past it again somehow. Stop putting me up there. Oh, cause it's downloading things. Oh, Jim Thorpe. Oh, I know where I've used this. <laughs> JP Fire Station, local form side ramp, no. Harbor, oh no. No water. Oh. Another one where I can't change the. Another one where I can't change the signs, but it's nice and I'd use it. LNER Branch Line Station, no. LNER Underground One Track Station. We actually have an underground station? Okay. Old station building. New Haven. Oh, it's not even like a New Haven station, it's the New Haven station. Okay. Parking lot or station platform light. Passenger station. Well, gee. Power station. Shop. Hamburger station. No. Yeah, I'm not seeing what I want. Okay, put you over here. Hmm. These tracks are so close together, though. Unless I actually want to have one track. What was that station on bridge? Prince. Oh, now wait a minute. This is a little bit too modern, though. Oh, it's... okay. <laughs> I see. I see. We can't rename it, of course, so. 
this that looks like the Wallen Lake Station. That's what the, that's what that looks like. Bridge Trail. An ambient station. Oh, those are song, uh, not the songs. There, there are other things. Whatever. All right, so we need to find a better station for that, and then we can continue building in that direction. We've got some roads in today. We didn't do a hell of a lot, but we laid some groundwork. No, seriously, how did we spend that much time doing this? I spent so much time scrolling through lists and ranting about yarn. How did we spend this much time? Oh, well. You know, at least when you go and do a root build competition, you generally have everything in your pick list already. You don't spend so much time scrolling. So, anyways. Yeah. We need to, we need to, we need to get a little quicker. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I will see you next week. Trade Man out.